are back again Charlie I hope you are doing amazing I'm currently here in Benin and I'm here at Ganvier which is the largest lake village in Africa it's one of the most visited place in Benin the village was created in the 16th century by the Tofino people who took the lake to avoid warriors to sell to European enslavers so guys, yeah. Nicola ah. and Abigail, Abigail, I'm, I'm on this trip with Abigail, so you'll be seeing her in my, all my videos. And Boniface, yeah. So I said he is a tour guide here mm -hmm. who, is, who speak both English and French. So guys, I know Ola from, the, I mean, Instagram brought us here and Ola has introduced us to Boniface. So whenever you come here, look for Boniface, yeah. So let's go guys, I'm so happy. Yeah. started a trip and Boniface is on the boat and um, directing it and yeah we are going to the village itself for you to see so far I see a lot of women bringing fish from town I see a lot of people coming in and going out so this is how it looks like from here it's really beautiful yeah it's amazing seeing even little kids having their own boats uh, Ganvier is a village who is still on the lake. So they do everything on the lake. And in Ganvier, it is very, very important for the one family who from Ganvier to have three small boats. The first one for the father to go into fishing. The second is for the mom to go into sell the fish in the market. And the third is for the kids to go into school. Nogue Lake, Nogue, no yeah. And we can go to Cotonou, Porto Novo, even Nigeria back there. Right. So um, Boniface just told us that every morning they leave their settlement to the market which is behind us. Then in the evening they go back to their homes. So it's it's really amazing to see. We have uh, two markets on the village, on the lake. But on this two market, they send everything. Yes, the market. One, the market. Yeah, the first market of town. That's the night market. So we are currently at the market. We are going to get some breakfast here because Ola told us to come early because they sell a lot of breakfast here. So this is how it looks like here. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, yes. Ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Ça va Merci. Merci. So, wow, it's hot. I got my tea. This is my tea. Yeah. She sells biscuits and this is soup. So, yeah. This market is very different from your usual market. This is Benin and this is the life here. Tea costs 200 each. each and then the bread, the whole bread, 500. So because we are going to share the bread, this bread will be enough for all the four of us. So. So she 
themselves um, local sandwich, which is their local baguettes and chicken. So there are lots of things. I see their local meals. They also serve rice. I also saw rice, and she also sells eba here. So yeah, it's such a beautiful experience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is really nice. It's really hot too. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my breakfast. Nescafe right here in the village. Cheers. <laughs> it's really hot. Can I have some bread, please? Yes, I'm trying the bread and the tea. Mm. It's really nice. How are you, Mama? Fine. How are you, Junior? Fine. You're fine. <laughs> So we are here at mommy's shop. In, on this lake, mm -hmm. we have two types two type of segment of water because we have uh, fresh water and salty water. And then one. Ola showed me a video, so they get this on the lake, on the lake yeah. during the rainy season. Exactly. So they dry it for the dry season like this, to yeah. be able to be to weave all these things. Exactly. Oh wow, this is amazing. They are making good use of everything here, right here from the village, to also make money. I, I, I spotted this bag, which is so beautiful, I want you to see. So it's called a water yasant, which is used to produce this bag. And this is how it looks like. How much is this? Uh, six six thousand six thousand safer. So yeah, when you come here, make it a point to buy something from them because that's the only way you can support their business. I say this one you can put alcohol drink, uh, water, uh, soda, in it, uh, uh, whiskey, and you put it on your table. And when guests come, you can you can serve them. Yeah, this is beautiful. So they have the, the plant on the boat. So that's like a commercial boat? Yeah. Okay. But they want to plant it, put it on the lake, okay. and catch the fish after, after maybe two years. Oh, okay. And uh, some people use this big boat to do the commerce with Nigeria. They go to Nigeria. They go to Nigeria, Nigeria with oh, okay. to okay. buy It's really big. Petrol, anything. Oh. And they paddle? Yeah. No, no, no motor. No, no motor. No motor. Then they use for Nigeria. It's Nigeria no, no, is not no. far. No people who go to Nigeria, they use the motor. Moto. Okay, okay. How 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 long is it from Nigeria from this lake, like from this place to Nigeria? So they can make it one day from here to Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also breakfast here. So this is the one hotel of the village. So they have uh, the restaurant, at is a job in the hotel. How much does it cost for a night? Mm. Uh, to uh, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand a night. Oh, okay. We we have uh, everything here. We have schools. We have uh, hospital, maternity, markets. We have uh, we use uh, the solar panel to charge our phone. Uh, so every home has a solar panel. No. So some house have a solar panel because they don't have money. Everybody can also have money to, to, to buy it. But they use uh, the traditional. It's are currently going to fetch water. Where is their source of water coming from? The, the, the drinking water is coming from uh, drilling. Oh, drilling. Oh, okay. So that's. If you look closely, that is where they get their water. They are drinking water, and it's a borehole here. So, guys, all to 
too soon we are done with our tour we are heading back to um, the point at which we started which is about 15 minutes from here um, so yeah 15 minutes boat ride so let's go guys it's been awesome the end of this vlog i hope you found this video very educative and a big thanks to bonnie face and ola yeah so whenever you come to benin please look for them i'm going to put all their details in the description box so you have an easy access to the village we had a good time and i hope you also had a good time too until next time on my next video from benin yeah, on the map. <laughs> and oh i forgot to tell you that i got this I'm from the village for 1,000 Sefa. So, yeah, until next time. Uh, Abby, yeah. say hi. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>